The 100 Everything Challenge is still going quite well. I haven't come even close to achieving any 100s except for comics. I read two floppies a day at least. So my Goodreads is up to like 230 something for the year uh, with about 12 to 15 actual normal books. So I've read tons and tons of comics. So that means this is my second haul <laughs> of the year as I gave myself another $100 budget and ended up spending $50 again on eBay on comics that I wanted specifically in my collection. Not just run filler, but stuff to fill the runs that I like and the sub runs. So you know what they are if you're a viewer of this channel. I'm trying to get a complete run of Spider-Woman 1978. And I really like Bronze Age Detective comics from the 1970s and 80s. This eBay seller, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. I usually don't say the seller until the end if they're good. <laughs> but this is uh, Comics Pursuit off of eBay. Uh, they did ship priority, but ironically, it took forever to get here. It came from Florida. I live in North Carolina, so I thought it would be a very short transit. And it ended up getting stuck in Florida, which I don't know if I'm remembering correctly, but I think there's a USPS DC in Florida that is notorious for stuff just getting stranded there. And this was stranded. It, it's for a priority pa priority package that took, I don't know, uh, 15 days to get here <laughs> across, what, four states? So that's a little bit of a bummer. However, I'm going to be honest, I cheated a little bit because I placed this order, I think, before I hit an actual 100 comics, but I knew I would at the clip that I'm reading in the mat at that pace. I knew I would get to them, so I just went for it. And again, I gave myself a $100 budget, and after I found an eBay seller who had some Spider-Woman, picked and parcel and went through and searched everything I like Batgirl Birds of Prey all the stuff Punisher uh, everybody has detective so that's mostly what I filled it out with so without further chit chat let's get into it we got detective 616 this one looks rather nice and everything is bagged and boarded. I always check because I don't want to buy bags and boards because I am fresh out of them. Um, this one's really sharp. Detective 616. What do we got next? Detective 601. Another very sharp copy. A lot of blacks. You got to be careful with the blacks. I'm actually reading Alan Grant and Norm Brayfogle's run right now. It's amazing. Because I'm also simultaneously reading the Chuck Dixon run, and they are two totally different things, and they're both awesome. <laughs> the Grant and Bray Fogle Batman is such an a-hole. He's so sarcastic. It's so awesome. But then Chuck Dixon's Batman is adventurous and fun, and uh, it's like an 80s action movie, you know? Uh, this is Detective Comics 595. This actually is one I think I'm missing from my run, like a long sequential run, and then I'm missing this one issue, like somewhere in the middle of it. So that was one that I was glad to see available. This is something I don't have in my collection, believe it or not. I don't have any annuals. So here's Detective Comics annuals number one, uh, annual <laughs> number one. A <laughs> um, little bit of a glare there, a little... Uh, a little warping in the bag but again we're talking great condition so so far so good with the seller here's detective comics 650 this is part of the chuck dixon run um i might have read this one digitally already but i'm, I'm actually not sure but that one's good here's a way more modern one 
and this I just did to kind of fill out the uh, order and get hit a shipping threshold, hit a volume bargain thing. This is Detective Comics 808. Again, kind of modern. And apologies that it's not focusing on that one for some reason. Here's one that's kind of, I haven't read it, but I know this is kind of a controversial cover because they killed Stephanie Brown and they threw her in the back in the Robin costume just for the cover. It has nothing to do with the story. Um, so that's kind of a weird one, and I'm surprised it's not more noteworthy. It's not even noted as a key on Key Collector. So, But I wanted it. I love Stephanie Brown, and I love Detective Comics, so it was a no-brainer. This is Detective Comics starring the Batman family, number 482. That's a cool one. Uh, a nice and older one. This one was a little bit more pricey. I think it was uh, like seven or eight bucks when a lot of the ones I've shown already were about three. <clears throat> Next, we got something a little, <laughs> a little different. Uh, Justice League of America, number 155, giant issue, giant Justice League America. I don't have a lot of Justice League. I actually have read through the Power Girl series from 2009 just recently. I loved it. And there's a little bit more of JSA in there, which I also haven't read too much about. It's fascinating. I started this YouTube channel about comics. I know very little about it besides Batman and Batgirl. Um, World's Finest Comics, number 309, obviously Superman and Batman. Some other world's finest have different characters in them, but this one is the old Superman and Batman 309. I have been reading, I was reading for a while and then I stopped the more recent, I think it was 2011, Superman and Batman. Started out really awesome and then got kind of convoluted, not convoluted, but I just didn't like it as much after a while, which is strange because it didn't change writers or anything. It was the same, same team. Uh, all right, now we're here for the bread and butter. Sorry, I'm going to go in order of these because there's only three, so I just kind of threw them in order real quick. Number 41, Spider-Woman 41. Looks pretty good. Pretty sharp. And the camera. It's my first time using my desktop PC instead of my phone. I hope everything sounds and looks good. Spider-Woman 41. I forgot to double check, but I think I have... 37 out of 50 which is something like 76 percent and that's i don't know i can't do that math in my head but i did it with a calculator earlier i just don't remember it perfectly um 45 spider woman number 45 with another another spider-man cover it could be a imposter the caption says no nah, it couldn't be <laughs> so i'm not sure what's going on there with the story but the ones that they throw Spider-Man on the cover sometimes are considered keys. I have one of them. It was one of the more expensive issues that I had to pick up for this collection. But it's pretty much smooth sailing from here on out. The only one I don't have that's a little bit pricey is the one where Frank Miller did the cover. Uh, and lastly, we got Spider-Woman number 46. So that's it for this haul. This was a great haul. I'm I'm happy doing this and not just buying a bunch of nonsense the seller didn't have any birds of prey didn't have any batgirl um so i was just kind of relegated to finding them because they had some spider woman and uh grabbing detective comics to just kind of make my order worthwhile and they were very good with uh working with me because my original total was in the stratosphere and i sent them a message i said hey uh, can I get the offer because I got automatic best offers from sell automatic seller offers from eBay after I put everything in my watch list. So I was like, hey, is there a, a way I can get your combined shipping and all these offers that I'm getting on the following books, which are in my cart? And he actually went an extra mile with this, took all the books that I had, put them in a listing for me with my username on it and took pictures of everything again. He didn't totally didn't have to do that, but I liked that thoroughness to make sure that the books I wanted were in the listing. So that's a great job right there. This is another seller that I'm going to add to my favorites in eBay and keep an eye on when I need stuff. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video.